Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRamRanker.com, and today I've got a complete audio comparison across the Wahoo Kicker Trainer lineup. So I've got here the Wahoo Kicker Roller, the Kicker Snap, the Kicker Core, and the Kicker V5 2020. Essentially their most recent versions of all their trainers. We're going to skip the bike because that's like $3,500, and if you're looking at that, you're probably not looking at deciding on these. So just these trainers for now. Now this test is focused entirely on the audio, sound, and volume side of things, uh, not so much on the specs and the feature difference and stuff. That's probably a, an entirely different different video. So for each of these trainers, I'm going to do two different things. I'm going to start off at a really low speed uh, and show you what that sounds like, and then go to a full-on sprint at a high speed. And the reason I'm saying speed is because on smart trainers, speed is the only thing that impacts volume. It has nothing to do with wattage whatsoever. And the reason for that is if you go into erg mode, so something like trainer road or a structure workout on Zwift, in that particular scenario, you can choose whatever gearing you want, and the trainer will keep you at whatever wattage the structure workout is for. By shifting into an easier gear, it's a good way to reduce the volume of your smart trainer. The last thing to note is I'm not going to be using a decibel meter. There's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, number one is that you can't actually compare it from room to room. So this room will measure differently than your room and quite dramatically differently, in fact. The second bit is that it depends on where I place it. If I place it here, it's different than if I place it over there, different over here. And if I place it two meters away versus one meter away. And even if I had it all constant, you'd be hearing the decibel results in this room, which is a gigantic concrete box. So instead, I've got additional microphones placed around the room. That's because on my lab mic right here, you won't hear anything. But if I switch the microphone on top of the camera or the microphone over there, they're quite different sounds. You can hear the whole echo of the room itself. So with that, let's jump on things and get rolling. Okay, so here we are in the kicker core. I'm at the slowest gearing I have. And at the moment it's producing a low wattage, but again, that's irrelevant here because I'm in simulation mode on Zwift. I'll let you listen to this for a couple seconds before I change my gearing. Now we'll go ahead and we'll pop up to a harder gearing. You gotta go a little faster. Okay, we're about 20 miles an hour. So now's a good time to note my little stoplight over there. Uh, that's actually configured for 60 decibels. You used to use 70 decibels, but these days trainers allow the quiet, so the bar is removed down to 60 decibels. When it gets above that, it goes to yellow, and when it clears 70 decibels, it goes to red. So let's go ahead and sprint. And again, this is the volume you use in an erg mode, train and road, structure workout. Something like this is what it would sound like no matter what water you were putting out. Versus in simulation mode, for the majority is whipped, you have to change gears, which in turn increases speed and increases volume. Okay, so let's jump over to the kicker snap. Oh, hey, a future me in this video. You see the stoplight over there right now? It knows you have not hit that like button or subscribe, uh, so it's kind of upset about that. It really does help out this video and the channel quite a bit. Okay, here we are cruising along on the kicker snap. You can hear it's relatively quiet. We'll go ahead and get ourselves up to speed now. We'll go up to about 20 miles an hour, the same as before, before we start our sprint. In terms of my drivetrain the bike, I'd say it's reasonably clean. Not like bike mechanic new bike clean, but pretty clean. Here we go, 20 miles an hour. And then the sprint. Okay, and now we're back to the easiest gearing. Again, so what you would use in erg mode, for example, for both the highest level accuracy in erg mode, as well as the quietest results. So let's switch it up to the kicker core. Okay, here we are now in the kicker core, 
And the only thing you're now hearing is my drivetrain. Just listen for a second. You're no longer hearing the actual rollers. Cleaner drivetrain might leave less noise, but we're talking almost nothing right now. Go ahead and get up to 20 miles an hour. And for the sprint. And here we are back to the easiest gearing, and thus the slowest. You know, here the sound is basically just entirely gone. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on the final kicker. I do think the cassette on this one needs a little bit of love, maybe a good little cleaning and stuff, but keep in mind the kicker core is just a kicker 2017 with a different bass. Uh, so it's still that same silence by design, at least in theory, uh, as the kicker 2020 or the kicker 2018. Just an older kicker. Just keep that in mind. It's it's not some like dramatically lower class train or anything like that. Anyway, here we are, nice and easy pedaling. Super silent. You hear the creaking of my frame, but that's, that's about it. Go ahead and get up to uh, harder gear, faster pace, speed. Here we are, 20 miles an hour. And we're the sprint. Okay, so let's talk to this real quick. Okay, so let me just give you all these back to back. I'm gonna do the first row of all four back to back on the easiest gearing. So you listen to that real quick. And then now let's jump to the steady state 20 mile an hour gearing. And then finally up to the full-on sprint for each of them. As you can see, the Wahoo Kicker Roller is clearly the loudest of them. Uh, then from there, we got the Kicker Snap. And then below that, you've got basically the Kicker Core and the Kicker Identical. I think any differences between those two is purely due to the cassettes being slightly different in terms of like wear and tear between those two units. Uh, the Kicker Core in this case is now almost four years old. So it's got a little more wear and tear on it than my Kicker, which is only a year and a half old. And that's something through like bike maintenance or cleaning that cassette, I could probably go ahead and reduce that volume or even replacing the set if it's too worn at this point. Uh, but Ultimately, the kicker core and the kicker should be the same, and they should be essentially identical, minus any drivetrain or creaking bottom back sounds, anything like that uh, that comes from your bike and not to do with the trainer itself. Okay, so there you go, a complete look at things. Hope you found this interesting and useful. If so, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe because there's plenty more sports technology goodness coming up uh, that you do not want to miss out on. With that, have a good one.